El Profe, Juan Carlos Osorio with us to break down Mexico's first opponent at the World Cup, Poland. I think we have to start with the big man, number nine, Robert Lewandowski, right? He's a player who, if he gets one chance, you know he's going to finish. So how do you limit chances getting to Lewandowski? Right. Uh, I would think that the, uh, the first thing, obviously, will be the selection mm -hmm. of the team. Because the, the, uh, the strengths of the, uh, the Poland national teams are, A, they play direct, direct football looking for Lewandowski. And we're going to get into that. And then, and B, the, uh, the set plays, hmm. right? So let's speak about the open play first. I would think that the, the, the one thing that we, the, the Mexican national team has to avoid is, is to, um, to allow the back four to play long diagonal balls, okay. very different to straight balls, because when you are defending, in this case, Araujo or Moreno, a direct ball from whoever played as a central midfielder, then all they have to have is the help of uh, Exxon. So Lewandowski will end up being like a sandwich, a, a basically. Sandwich, basically. Mm. Good, 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 good word. Sandwich. Now, it's very different when the ball comes from diagonal, from left to the middle or from right to the middle, because then he can always be behind the first defender. Let's say the ball is here and the ball comes this way. So he can see the number of Araujo's shirt and he can compete more with Moreno mm. than with him. So, Coach, uh, Prof, you're, you're expecting a physical battle for the center backs of the Mexican national Too much, team. yes, okay. definitely. So you definitely. would expect center backs with physicality. Though. Absolutely. That would be part of your selection. Uh, that's, the, that's the key. You mentioned Edson Alvarez. Yes. Why is Edson Alvarez so important against Poland and Lewandowski? Because one of the attributes that Edson has is his aerial game. He is a central midfielder that can compete against Lewandowski or whoever is there with the help of one center back and sandwich the, the center forward. Mm. Uh, with all the respect, Andres will not be able to do that. Right. Edson is capable of doing that because he has had experience having as a, playing as a center back, even as a full back, as he played in the last World Cup against Brazil. So paramount, very important that whoever plays in the middle of the park can compete in front of Lewandowski so he cannot prolong that ball or he, he, even worse, he cannot drop the ball and play. Mm -hmm. You know, Seba, I, I'm just thinking out loud right now, Lewandowski can hurt you in so many different ways. Tell me about it, yep. But why with vertical long balls will he be so successful with Poland? I think because when there is a diagonal uh, when there is a diagonal ball he has the advantage hmm. when there is a direct ball the defenders and Edson have all the benefits of that because they will be facing the ball and the goal is just behind not a cross that is more difficult to defend Let's talk about the central defenders here that we picked Hector Moreno and Nestor Araujo a couple guys that, that you know very yes, well from very your time well. with Mexico um, I think a guy like Cesar Montes is, is maybe yeah, an obvious shot candidate. for a game like this. Really tall guy, good in the air. Would you maybe go with a player like that? Or do you think Moreno and Araujo could be, you know, good enough to do the job? There's a lot of experience here. It's a lot of experience, but I think, do we think Montes is the best in the air? I think it's a lot of experience, and I have to be mm, coherent mm -hmm. with what I have always said, and is that left-footed, the, the left-sided center midfielder has to be left-footed. The left-sided center back has yes, to be left-footed. Yep. Left-footed, because then we also have to play the game. So then he can cross the ball, or he can play long diagonal ball to the right winger. Now, if the, the, the manager decides to play Montes, I think it's still a very good decision. Because at the end of the day, against this guy, the, the, 
the, the, the strength of the defensive side has to be here and try to keep him away from the big box where he can score some goals. We're used to seeing... Go ahead. No, no, I was just going to say, uh, Profe, we're used to seeing the Mexican national team in CONCACAF dominate, they have possession, mm -hmm. they have the lion's share mm -hmm. of the ball. Are you expecting versus Poland that they will also have the ball and that's why maybe, let's say, Tata Martino would up for Herrera and Guardado. And many are questioning Guardado for the first game. Where do you put Guardado? When is the right time to introduce Guardado into the World Cup? Do you think this is a good scenario for a player like Andres Guardado? I do. Uh, because the first part of what we're discussing is about how to control them. But now we talk about how we're going to hurt them. Mm. Right? Because they are very good in the air, yes. But... Possession for possession, and if Mexican, if the Mexican national team decide to play uh, the possession in the middle third, then Andres and Hector and, and Edson are very capable of keeping the ball. And now I, I think the key is here, because he is no good in the air defensively. Oh, that's okay. okay. Moreno, Moreno went on a crazy run there. <laughs> you, got, you got him. So. Irving, is, as we know, is not a strong suit. Is, is great in counter attack, in transitional game, defensive to offensive, but he's not very good in the air. Vega is pretty much the same. Whoever plays in the middle, in this case Raul, is going to help in any defensive uh, set, set piece because we speak about how to control Lewandowski on open play. Now we have to decide who is going to take him on, on set pieces. And I think he's capable, he's dominant in the RL game. He's very competent. And I would think that um, Montes. Uh, Montes is very dominant as well. Um, it's the first game of the tournament, Profe. How does that impact your game plan? Because obviously, once the tournament starts, maybe you need a tie in the next game. Maybe you need a win. I just go back to the first game against Germany, right? Um, you clearly had a plan. It clearly worked. So how does that first game maybe differ from the other games in terms of how you approach it from a planning session? I think that that gives you a great advantage. And basically, it uh, uh, delineates or it guides the, the way you're going to go into the World Cup. Winning the first game is crucial. Is, is it the most important game of Mexico in the World Cup? I would think so. I would think so. Because if we are honest against Argentina, against Argentina, obviously one of the favorites mm -hmm. is going to be the most difficult game. Mm -hmm. And Saudi Arabia, I think Mexican can always win the, that game as well. So I think this is a very critical game. All right, so a critical game, Mexico against Poland to kick things off on November 22nd in the Qatari capital of Doha.